You'll on true and welcome to another exciting day in our galaxy. And today I just want to quickly talk about another forbidden tech I'm working on right now. But before I talk about the Borg nanoplating, I just want to say, if you haven't seen that yet, I always put a pinned comment under the videos and there you find something about comments, etc. but also about a way how you can support my work, for example. But there's also the instructions, so to speak, how you can join the Discord channel that I set up for this YouTube channel as well. And where you find some more information like some shards on, on wave defense and uh, firing patterns, etc. So have a look there. But let's have a quick look at the Borg nanoplating for this. We just go to one ship section with um, the forbidden tech. And there we have the Borg nanoplating. It's a rare forbidden tech. It's still locked, of course, but we can still have a look on, on what's doing. How to get it, we talk about in a second. It will increase the critical hit chance against solo armadas, which is nice. And it increases armor, pierce, shield pierce, and accuracy against solo armadas. So overall, it's a solo armada um, forbidden tech, which can never be bad. It increases armor, shield deflection, and dodge against solo armadas at 1800% and increases critical damage against solo armadas at 265%. Those numbers are for the maxed version. So you have to work your way up by leveling it up like other forbidden tech. But those are the max bonuses you can get from the Borg nanoplating. And that's the reason why it's the second one I'm getting from the same source. And talking about the source, we have to go to the refineries as soon as I restarted the whole device and got it working again. I'm filming SDFC videos the whole day already, and uh, this is not the first time it happened. So they improved the stability of the game a bit, but eh, it still happens. But now we can finally go to the refinery, and in this case, the Forbidden Tech Refinery. And here we see that at Court of Q level 25, I can um, get charts for, for a number of um, different Forbidden Techs. And later on at level 40, I will have more. But at this time, I'm working on the Borg nanoplating. And the Borg nanoplating needs rare forbidden fragments. In my case, for one of my videos, I bought the Ferengi whip to show, first of all, how fast it is in, in uh, mining concentrated latinum. But in that case, I have an advantage for getting those fragments because um, the Ferengi whip refinery part here that's only there if you have the whip um, regularly gives me those rare forbidden parts, um, uh, forbidden fragments that I need to use that. But it's not necessary to have the whip. If you go to the Q trials, you will see that at the ones I'm at at the moment, at the uh, three star trials, that uh, the next milestone on each of them is forbidden fragments and rare forbidden fragments. And let's have a look here. It's it's 30 in each, so that's 90 already on this one next milestone on each. Th those 90 um, are three quarters of what you need to, to unlock one of those. I think it was 100, no, it's 150. So it's not three quarters, it's uh, three fifth. But uh, there are more coming up, as you see on the on the maximum uh, milestone. There's another 35, for example. I didn't have a look if there are some in between, um, or if it's just those. No, they're not in between. So it's only those two milestones. But it's 65 alone in this one again um, when I continue doing them, and uh, so. You will get those rare fragments by doing Q trials and completing those milestones over time. And with those, you can unlock them. And then you can choose. And that's the nice thing about the, the um, forbidden tech in the refinery, because you can choose what is your 
no, not that one. What is your favorite? What is the use you you have the best use for at the moment? And then you can decide which ones to unlock here um, first. And so um, I'm at the moment not so sure. I have to to be honest. Uh, why it doesn't say Coat of Q level 25 uh, at the nanoplating. Um, the others uh, are there because um, I upgraded my Coat of Q. About the nanoplating, I'm not so sure at the moment, I have to be honest. Um, there's sometimes so much stuff in there that even I get confused. There's so much new stuff uh, since I'm on this server that I've never... I think there's more stuff now since I'm on this server than I've ever seen on my other server. And I know, don't mean, of course, there's new stuff, but there's such an amount of new stuff. It's unbelievable. But nevertheless, the Borg nanoplating with the advantage for the solo armadas is something I'm really looking forward to. But if you want to add something about the Borg nanoplating, or if you remember why it's marked differently than the others uh, in that section at the moment, please write it in the comments. It's always good to get uh, more views on, on the topics than just mine. And it's always good to have a collection of things. And sometimes when I don't know something, I'm not um, too, too proud to say that, as in this case. So um, I'm asking my more experienced viewers for, for help as well that are playing for years as well. And um, it happens to everyone. So I'm not too proud to say that. So please write it in the comments if you have the answer to that one. And if you just want to ask questions in general or video requests, you know that I regularly read your comments. And if you want to see another video right now, the next one is right here in the end screen. I'll see you there. I'll be back.